it's been taking me more time and I down more hours doing this that an open a restaurant, okay? Uh, we have more experience opening a restaurant, but this it was new for us. So you have to think every single detail, how you will make a mistake at home or what you will need. Well, it's been massive, it's been, it's been everything, because A, we start with three people, and then the following day we need another one. So the boxes, it was, it was a lot of demands. So slowly we go like 80% of the staff between the terrace and now uh, the Savor and Casa. So, you know, us, we are happy because of that. They are happy, and that is the main thing, to maintain the team, people back to work, and also we are proud to create something new which has been successful. So it means a lot of good things. It's very positive, super positive. You know, we're very happy with how it's finalized everything. So we're thinking it will be another arm from Sabor, another another develop, develop business, which I think it, it will work in London, or even we try to make it national. That will be, this is our next step, doing national and uh, 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 production kitchen. So then we can do more ingredients, new menus. So you refresh all the time uh, the Sabor in Casa. is going to be a struggle with social distance measures in place but also with reduced footfall in many sat town and city centres restaurants are going to struggle to break even we did a recent survey of our members which suggested that in the restaurant sector um, just 40 percent of them had felt confident enough to reopen within the first month of the restrictions being lifted we are going to see more coming online but it, it's lower than most other parts of hospitality <laughs> It is to be able to provide a source of revenue for themselves, but also to support their local supply chains through this crisis when it looked as though it was going on for longer. I think it's mainly about name and brand recognition, making sure your brand is still kept alive in the eyes of consumers. <laughs> But I think what's really interesting now is that they're starting to keep that as an additional string to their bow going forward, not just about keeping the name alive during the crisis, but looking at developing it going forward to, uh, to add to their revenue streams. Sure, kind of feel it. I would say they're probably, they're probably cooked. Um, it was a mess. Uh, it was a mess, but it was also maybe our fault with packaging. Uh, we certainly changed a lot of things around, but now we, 
now we think we've kind of got it right. But I think it's sort of quite demoralizing knowing what, how it leaves here to less than 24 hours, seeing what it looks like there, you're like, it's not what we sent. Right now, it's, right now, to give you a comparison, it's probably two days revenue for us. So we're open seven days a week. That will, that will cover Monday, Tuesday. Uh, this week, probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because it's been a big week. You know, so it's literally, it's, it's definitely viable. It's not as much as the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant is down about, about half right now, but it's building. So we didn't launch this as a, okay, this is just coronavirus uh, 2020. We saw this as like, well, look, can we commit to this? Can we sort of, can we do this long beyond um, once the restaurants kind of resume themselves and are about to be packed? Can we do it? The answer is yes. What's no is we cannot do it here. Um, there's no way we can do it in this restaurant. It's just not built for purpose at all. So if it does get to the point where it is, it really has its own legs, then we'll look at our premises, but um, we're not quite there yet. Okay.